Guys, Canva has a new feature and I'm so excited. I can't wait to do this video. Let's get into it right now. Hi creators and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to highlight something that I saw, it popped up in my uh, email. There's a new Canva feature and a very interesting one, the ability to make comic strips. Now this might be something that you are probably not even thinking about when it comes to your content creation, but I think it's so cool that it's something that's available, especially for people like me, as I always say I'm not a designer. But Canva makes me look like that. So we're going to get into it. I'm just going to review, see what the feature does, how you can use it, and um, just do my overall review. But before we go any further, I'm going to ask you if you like my content to please subscribe. It goes a far way in motivating me to make more videos like this for you, giving you updates and anything else that I can find in our creative, marketing, content, whatever world that can make your life easier. So enough with all that. Let's go right into the new feature. So what we're going to do is go to Canva, and if you haven't used Canva before, go to canva.com, create an account, you won't regret it. I will be using the pro feature in this video, but you are able to use Canva for free. Some features will be limited, and it's up to you to decide what you need. So let's start by searching for comic strips. I'm just going to type comic strip, but if you notice, it's already suggested, so that's great. And what? Uh, Canva does, if you haven't used it before, it, it provides templates. Now these templates are already made and you go in and customize it to what you need. So now that we're here, we're looking at some of the templates that Canva has provided and man, it is a big bunch. You can do so many things here, so many different types, different <laughs> types of drawings. And I'm thinking if you're an artist yourself, you're probably able to, you know, uh, draw your own images and upload them into uh, uh, Canva. So just thinking out loud, what are some of the things you could use these comic strips for or, um, you know, how best you could use in your situation? Now, sometimes on, you know, social media, you're looking for something different in what you post. You could be posting a new idea or feature and maybe this comic strip is a fun way of showing that. Uh, maybe you're looking to do storyboards. This is a cool way to do it too. It seems like you could kind of play around with the templates and make something of your own. So uh, now you're able to see that there are tons of different uh, layouts that you can use. Um, but we're going to look at a template and see what it's like. So with Canva, all you have to do is hit the template you want to start with, or you could start blank. Uh, I'm not so great with the blank. I like to have something to to go on. So if you're looking for something themed, for example, this is great. You know, going with a you have a cat page or a cat Instagram or something, then you could just start with a template that already kind of looks like what you're going for. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick review for anyone that has never used Canva. If you have, you can just skip past here. So over here on the left, you have uploads. This allows you to upload your own images, video and audio. Photos are photos that are provided by Canva. Some will be free, some will be pro. So if you're using the pro, you get access to everything. So every aspect of the tools, you'll be able to use that uh, once you pay for the pro version. There's uh, elements, uh, elements, icon, like icons, pictures, you know, shapes, anything that isn't a photo, you'll find it here. Text. And this is where you get creative. For example, in this uh, comic strip, you're probably going to want to change the text. So you're going to have these options over here on the left, and we'll probably get into that a little more soon. Styles, we won't need it for here, but it's uh, something related to your brand. If you're looking for certain colors, you can pull in your palette and use it in your artwork. Audio music given to you by Canva, which is awesome, especially like me making your YouTube videos. You want to make sure that you're using legal music. You'll get that from Canva. Um, videos, same thing. There is a beautiful library of all sorts of stock images and videos that you can pull in and use. Background is going to give you exactly that background. You can click it. It goes directly to your page. And that's really that. And folders, just another way for you to save everything, especially if you're going to be uh, using this for a team. Uh, you can go and create folders and put all your designs in there and have everything really organized. And right here, if you're loving what you're seeing so far, I'm going to let you know I have a special link for you. Today, you can sign up for Canva Pro for free. You can use the pro version, the best version of Canva for yourselves free today. Why not just try it? See if it works for you. Doesn't, that's okay. 
Most people stick with it, but it's up to you. So here's the link, it's in my description. Check it out. Now, back to our layout here. So here we're seeing that you get a layout and it's giving you the different parts of the comic strip, which is interesting. I love this. So on page three, there's an illustration set where you have the animals, uh, their bodies drawn out, <laughs> and it seems like you're able to just kind of play around with the colors here. So if I wanted to change the colors, I could. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's really cool because in that way, you're able to really make it what you want without actually drawing anything. So you can take the shape or the, uh, when I was animating, it's that keyframe, that movement that you want. So you can actually kind of go back to what was given and make your changes. You can also click on the images as is and make color changes. You can click on a text and make text changes. So if we go over here on the left, I could add text if I want, or I could go in and say, I'm not sorry. <laughs> uh, I was caught up in a moment. So we are able to one, play around with the elements, two, make edits like we always need to do, and three, change colors. And honestly, that's pretty cool. Um, so they also give you uh, the option to create more pages. So I could just from here, make a duplicate of this. And now you can make more pages of your comic strip. And then because they've given you the illustration set, you could click this guy. Uh, let's click him, duplicate. And we can bring him up and start making a new comic. So you're able to come in here and make the changes if you need to, which is cool. So I'm glad that they do give you this because now you're able to play around with the uh, the uh, the frame, so the position that you want the character to be in and the facial expression. So if I click this, uh, click duplicate, I put this up here to my little guy, give a crying face <laughs> to the little cat see that yeah look at that that's so i saw like technically you're drawing but not really so i do like they that they do give you the ability to be even more creative so they do leave you with the shapes separate from the so they're not all grouped up together and you're able to play around with the illustrations and really make it your own really really cool feature and over here as i'm looking to the right you're able to print this but not just print it, print it as a photo book, which is interesting. So uh, you're able to flip it, which if you're making a comic strip, it does make sense that you're able to flip through. So this is really cool. So Canva allows you to create your own comic strips, uh, gives you the characters, the frames uh, that you can work with, the facial expressions that you can work with, and also it gives you the ability to print this whole thing when you're done. Of course, you're also given the option to download digital versions of this, so you can create a PDF, which won't be flipping, but it's gonna save everything together, which is great. And you can also create JPEGs if you're just going with like the one strip and just using it on your social media or something like that. It's pretty cool. So I think, honestly, that's it. It's a really cool thing. It's a very short video. I just wanted to show you what Canva has done and has given you the ability to do with their tools again. So thanks again, Canva. And I hope you're inspired to use this feature for something cool. Really look at this and think, how can I use this and be creative? So I hope this video helped. And again, I'm gonna ask if you like what you see, please subscribe. It does go far away and motivating me to make more videos like this for you. And I never end without saying, thanks for watching.